20th of March, 20. März. Some costumes kept in the palace are beyond strange. I'm speaking of costumes that don't seem to have any Hollywood allure, so it's a mystery to me why they are here. Like the ten Carmelite nuns, big and very big sizes, made 1930. Incredibly dusty, they made me clean them all day. While I was working on them with my carpet beater, I really couldn't imagine what kind of film could feature ten such sisters. Who needs a gang of big and very big nuns? What a pointless question. As pointless as questioning why ten nun costumes even exist. There are unemployed people, so there must of course also be unemployed things, and even an underclass. And in the palace, this underclass of wretched rags just hangs there. A real lumpenproletariat made up of costumes that are unworn and unwanted. <clears throat> What poor, unfortunate items. There's no reason to believe that being unwanted should end their existence. For if lack of meaning would ruin their right to exist, this ruin would have happened long ago. In fact, I believe that, once registered in this place, There is no escape. Such is the iron law of the costume palace. It applies to my nuns just as it applies to more fortunate, I should say more employable costumes. They will have to stay here for all eternity, if one is allowed to use that phrase. The ten nuns can only go the way of all cloth when ten brand new costumes are supplied to exist in their place. <clears throat> But does being replaced by something identical really mean salvation? Would this really mean that ten new costumes are taking over? Or have the same old ones simply come back again? Sorry. Such inquiries about their ontological status are so delicate that they cannot be handled by an unskilled employee. They can only be answered by the board of directors. This is what worries, tragedies, problems and hopes look like over here. While thousands upon thousands are slaughtering each other across the ocean, distant but real.